Hey guys, and welcome to my vlog. My name is Erin, and I am a writer. I'm working on several fantasy pieces right now. So I figured I would go through all of the different aspects of world building that I had to think about while building my fantasy worlds. We are back on our regular programming now. The Savior's Champion is finally out. You can get your copy. I will put all of the links in the description. So this week's topic for world building is clothing. So at this point, you will have figured out your geography and weather that is going to be affecting your story. And from there, we can figure out what the heck we're going to dress our characters in. You're going to want to figure out if your clothing is going to be more for form and function, aesthetic, or some combination of the two. You're also going to want to figure out how clothing kind of changes between income levels and different locations. Now, not everything that you figure out in relation to clothing needs to make it into your story, but you're going to want to mention at least some fine details so that your characters are not just wandering naked in the void. <laughs> clothing is diverse and it serves a lot of different purposes. You're going to want to get a basic idea of what's being used for work wear, casual wear, formal, religious, etc. Now, a good start to this is to research areas of the world that are similar in climate and weather to what you've set up in your fantasy world. This is going to be helpful because even though your fantasy locations do not exist in reality, it's still going to give you a really good idea of what people need to wear to be comfortable and to do their jobs. Now, obviously, you can dress your characters in whatever you want. It's fantasy and that's really one of the perks. But if you're dressing your characters in a way that makes zero sense for where they're living, then you're going to get some raised eyebrows. You want to know what you're putting your characters through and what they're going to wear to get through it. Say, for example, they're traveling. If they're not going to have the gear that they need, if they don't have, you know, warm clothing, sturdy boots, all that sort of thing, then those are conflicts that your characters are going to have to overcome if they are consistently uncomfortable in their environment. In terms of the basics, you're going to want to figure out what fabrics are available, which ones are common, which ones are expensive, what dyes are available, and what colors can you use to make your clothing have specific meanings or have certain aesthetics. <gasps> Don't leave. <laughs> Fine. Is your clothing going to come pre-made? Like, can people go to the store and pick up whatever outfit they want? Or does it have to be custom made? Are people making their own clothing? How are your people getting dressed? And additionally, you're going to want to kind of figure out, are any types of clothing, specific fabrics or colors forbidden to certain groups? A good example of this would be the color purple, which anyone who was not part of the royal family in a lot of cultures was not allowed to wear. Purple dye was very, very, very difficult to acquire, and so it was kept just for royalty. And in some cases, if you wore it outside of that, you could be killed for impersonating the royal family. In terms of production, you don't have to get super in-depth with any of this. You don't have to understand industrial processes. But if you are specifically naming a fabric, you should know whether or not it can exist in your climate. And if it is not naturally occurring in that type of climate, just maybe have a vague idea of where the heck your peoples are getting this from. Now, in terms of clothing, my personal favorite is ceremonial clothing because this is where you can get really elaborate and really fun. And this is where the fantasy element can shine. You get to include all types of fabrics and ornamentation and designs that no one in their right mind would wear on a regular basis, but if it's for a ceremonial purpose, you can go wild. Pick things that are impractical and beautiful and have a purpose to the religions that you have designed in your world. If you want people to be head-to-toe crystals, do that. If you want them wearing fabrics that are literally so bright it sears your eyeballs, you can do that too. <laughs> this is the place for creativity. Tailor your clothing to your characters, to your climate, to your weather, and to the circumstances that you're going to be putting people through. It's a really simple thing that makes a big difference in terms of believability of your fantasy world. And clothing is a part of everyday life, so it's not something you should really skimp on. Unless you have a nudist character, in which case, you know, skimp away. Anywho, this is all I've got for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week with another vlog. Bye.